Hello everyone and welcome to this episode. Today we are going to build our HTML editor using Python. Of course, we know you can be lazy, you can use HTML if you are wondering inside the PyCharm. Of course, you can download some ID from the website like a web storm like Visual Studio Code, Notepad, you can use also your notebook. There are a lot of options. But if you are a Python developer or you are preferring to write something by yourself in Python, that is the video for you, my friend. So right now we are going to clean it up and what we are going to need, we need our UK inter to create GUI for our application. The second thing that we'll need that from PK inter. Oh, come on, I just misspelled something. Of course, we need to import scrolled text. We will write on go with it. We'll also need web browser, web browser. So we will be able to run our application and we need then file to store our HTML file. So import and file and that's the thing that we need for our HTML editor. And right now we need to create the main window inside the Python. So root equal tk dot tk and we need roots that title. It will be basic HTML editor. Of course, it will be basic. There will be only HTML possible, but later on you can expand it as you want. We need to create a scroll text area. That's why we need that scroll text. Okay, yeah, I write it correctly. So right now, whenever we are having our scrolled text, we need that area that we can expand scroll whenever how much code we are going to create. So text area, equal scroll text, that scrolls text, and here we'll scroll from inside the root, we'll wrap the tk.word with will be 50, for example, and I will that assign to 15 or 10, it will be better. I'll really, ah, of course, text aria, oh no, aria, that pack, and we'll pack it with 5x of 10, adding of x it will be 10 and padding go y it will be also 10. And that's the thing that we need for our area text area widget. And the last one that we need, we need some kind of render button. Render button that will render our HTML document. So tk that button and we are again going to the root. Our text will be render HTML inside that button, of course. And command will be uh, render HTML. Of course, we need to create function for render HTML. And right now we are going to pass it. We don't need anything from that. Render button. And we need to pad. Pack it with pad y like uh, 10. Okay, and we need to, oh no, my loop. And with that, we are ready to start our basic HTML editor. Right now, nothing will happen whenever we click there, but that our work to make it work, to make it happen. So to let it work, we need to create that function. And inside that function, we're gonna get HTML content from our text area. So first of all, content, content, equal text area. 
that kit and we'll just version and pk dot end that's all that we need to get the html content and right now we are going to create a temporary fire and fire that's why we needed to import from our python that temp file and to make it work we need with temp file that name temporary file we need delete as false because we don't need to delete it right now suffix so our extension it will be that html because we are going to create html file and it will be as temp file so we will save it as a temp file temp file that's name oh name equal temp file that name and right now we are inside the name of our temporary file so going there we need temp file not write and right there we'll just write down our html content and we needed to encode it to utf8 and we are almost ready to go with our application the last thing that we need inside there is to open our web browser and to make it work it's quite easy because web browser that open and right now we are going to open our file and it will be plus temp file dot mm, slash name okay we can close our application and right now we can create our application and check if everything works as it should h1 hello we'll close h1 p tag hello there also i will close the p tag and i will render the html and just give me a second it's over there as you can see it works as we should and as it should but whenever we'll add something like what we can add we'll add for example h2 elementor with some kind of name and whenever we are going i have to close it whenever we are going to render it again as you can see new window pops up and you see everything here that you need but what when we are would like to have some inline styles it will not work i will show you so with ptac we can create the style and we'll make color of the blue for example and font size of 35 pixels of course we need to close it render and as you can see of course you can add also the styles there so it's less than 10 minutes to create such an application inside python but for you that the basic html editor it's like the first project that all of the even beginners can create you need only new how to create the functions and how to open the files the rest of them is going through the methods and which are inside for example pk inter and that will be all for that episode i hope you enjoy it and see you at the next episode where we'll dive deeper inside another python projects see you and have a good day bye